Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I am been involved with um, exams at the national level for uh, close to 24, 25 years, not just in JNU but also elsewhere. Um, and I teach physics, so my experience is mostly based on uh, physics exams. So I'll um, make three main points. One is that uh, it's commonly believed, it's a misconception that uh, science is an objective discipline. There is a unique answer, especially for hard sciences like physics and mathematics, there is a unique answer. So there should not be any problem with an MCQ exam. You ask a question out of the few choices, there is only one answer and you take that and you will be able to select the best candidate. This is completely false because uh, what is important is not the answer itself, but how a person, a student is going about getting to that answer. It's the journey which is more important to assess. Uh, I'll, you may, some of you may remember that uh, you learned about Pythagoras theorem in school and you may have come across several proofs of the Pythagoras theorem that uh, are given, I mean you can just go to the internet and Google also you find that there are many different proofs of the same theorem which are people came up with at different times and the different approaches to the same problem. In uh, physics for example, Newton's laws, Newton came up with them in the uh, 17th century, then in the 18th century there was reformulation by Lagrange and others and in the 19th century finally there was a yet another reformulation by Hamilton and all these are equally valid and useful in understanding problems today. Uh, one of the most successful theories in physics in quantum mechanics and there are right at the birth of quantum mechanics there are two different complementary and completely different approaches to quantum mechanics that were developed and uh, about uh, 50 years after that uh, Richard Feynman one of the most uh, charismatic physicists ever probably he came up with a different formulation of quantum mechanics and people use all these three different approaches to solve a problem. I don't know much about biology and chemistry but there the situations are even uh, more fluid because uh, it's not that there is always a unique agreement to a definite problem in, uh, in these disciplines. For example, if you want to synthesize a chemical, there may be more than one method and it depends. Uh, it's, none of them could be correct in the sense that quote unquote correct in the sense that it depends on the situation, what is your purpose, uh, where you want to make this chemical and to what purpose and how much resources do you have, at what scale you want to produce it, what is the consequence of this, what are the byproducts, these are all important questions. So it's not that there is a unique answer to a problem even in science. So that's a myth. Uh, secondly, uh, the second point that I have here is about MCQs that uh, uh, tend to become increasingly pedantic, complicated and go into more and more obscure aspect of a subject. A case in point is the IIT entrance exam which now is held in two parts. The general exam which is mostly based on the school curriculum NCRT text and the second is a more specialized advanced GRE. Uh, I have actually very strong views and I can go on about the IIT exam which I will not go into but uh, if you if you analyze or if you ask somebody to look at the question papers of IIT J advanced exam over the last uh, several decades, you will see that it has become more and more complex and you need to be have specialized training to do well in this exam. Just being a good student is not enough, you need to have actually trained to answer this question for several reasons. Time is one and also the way the questions are formulated the things that are being tested you really need a very specialized knowledge for that reason we see that students uh, go into these coaching factories as early as from seventh standard sixth standard and continue until uh, uh, until they get into iit or don't get into iit by which times they are burnt out um, and these coaching factories are laughing all the way to the bank uh, this is a general problem with all mcq type exams is that they spawn coaching factories which is in nobody's interest for actually um, good assessment of students. Uh, the last point is that uh, in science it's true that uh, it's a little easier, all said and done, it's still a little easier to uh, go, the, go down the MCQ path. 
And one reason that we have had to take MCQ route in science is uh, lack of manpower and compulsion because of the very large number of students we have to handle. And this is true of all disciplines, but it's, uh, in science it was adopted earlier because of the larger numbers. Again, there are other issues that why should we lack manpower, why should there be lack of funds when this is something that we, sh we are talking about all the time that we should be emphasizing to take us to the uh, next level and compete at, with the best of the, at the global scale. Uh, keeping that aside, so these are the reasons that MCQ has been favored and already Rohit mentioned this. One of the exams that is held nationwide is the CSIR UGC NET GRF exam, which uh, selects students to give them a fellowship for five years to conduct research in uh, the science subjects. And this exam has evolved from an all essay type question in which typically in physics problems were asked and they were evaluated. Students had to actually work out the problem and write the solution in detail and that was evaluated to a to a uh, format in which we had a part MCQ which was used as a uh, threshold for checking uh, part C which was only problem based and uh, finally a complete MCQ of both the parts and it was found as Rohit mentioned that uh, as a control while this transition was happening as a control it was checked whether there is a correlation between the performance in the objective, the so-called objective part of MCQ and the so-called subjective part of uh, problem solving and it was found that the correlation is rather weak. Those who are doing well in the objective type questions are not necessarily the ones who are doing well in the subjective questions and vice versa. So it was uh, uh, because of again this compulsion of large numbers it was decided that the whole exam will be only MCQ but this uh, threshold of eliminating questions uh, some based on one part that has been removed now the entire set is evaluated. So that is all I have to say. Thank you.